This is Dear Shu Mishnah Bura. As we begin, Simin Yod, Sif Aleph, through Sif He. We're going to be learning today, as the Machaber himself coins it, the Dine Knafais Hatalis. The laws of the Knafais, the corners of your Talis. Well, you'd be Sifim. There's going to be 12 Sifim. We're going to have lots of pictures to try to make this perfectly clear. I thank everyone who's been trying to get, help me with all the different Dear Shu material. Baruch Hashem, as you see, we finally got the PDF of the text over here, and hopefully we'll be able to get the shirim featured there as well. So we begin the Machaber who says, And I think this is the most basic halach of all the chassitis that everyone knows. When is there an obligation of titis? When there is dalit kenafais when there are four corners. If there are not four corners, then you are a potter. But however, continues the Machaber with probably not such a known halach. If there's more than four corners, Corners and chayavas, then you're obligated in tittis. Vaisa lo arba tittis yisav be arba kenafel. Hamru chaka zoom zoom yisav. So you have a five corner garment. Where do you put the tittis? You put it on four, not on five. On four in the four furthest most areas of the begin. So three corners. Potter, four corners. Chayiv, five corners. Chayiv in four of the corners. Let's just see Sif Alv and Beis together. Yesh la Arba, if you have four corners, v'chotach echa balach sain, and you cut one of the corners on a diagonal, we'll see pictures in one moment. V'aisau shnayim, that makes it into two corners. Or inaz abaz chamesh v'chayav, chayav as it makes it five corners, it's going to be chayiv. So says the Mishnaburah, Sif Kat and Alev, she'in la, dalit kenafai, zbein betchila zaz yasai, v'yish chotach echa, whether in the beginning you created a garment with three corners, or whether afterwards you cut off a corner, so you go and you made a rounded, so now it's not a corner, a corner is a corner. If it's rounded, it's not a corner. Whether it was made that way to start or after, it is potter. Petura says the Mishnah Brus of Katan Beis, Mevor Bekra, we learn in Apostle Klesif, Al Arba Kanafas Kanuscha on the four corners of your clothing. With Arshina Mizivri, Arba Valay Shalish. The Vosik says four and not three. The Yoiser me are, but how do we know more than four? Marbina me asher to chaser. We include it from the fact that Vosik says that which covers you. The Im Chalanu Chalaymar. The other way you can't say Shevachlal Chamish Arba. Then included in five is four. The Im Chal Shalosh Arba. But of course, included in three is not four. The Lavdav Kabbalas Chamish. It says Mishmur. Don't think it's a din in five. No. Who adin balashish v'sheva? You have a garment of six corners and seven corners. There's still an obligation to put on tittis. But says the Mishnah Brurus of Katan Gimel, if you have a five corner garment, you're chayeves v'yesh ba'itrim. There's some upater. Lachain therefore ein lasis abas chamesh lechatchila. You should not make a five cornered garment. Why? Because then you're involved in a machleik as whether you put on tittis or not. Says the Prima Godin quoted by the Mishnah Bura of Akasva Prima God. According to those who say you're not chayiv when you have five corners, oisa talis says kitan and shalanu are talis kitan him. She yeshva bees at savor and there's a neck hole. We'll see a picture in a moment. So what's his kasha? If there's a neck hole, as we'll see in a picture, we would think there's five corners. The neck hole creating two or six even plus the four. Says the Mishnah Berurah. Mikomakam roif sas the majority is closed. Miu em iresh roif pasua. Let's see. It's open. Yes, the calendar shows in the chayotim. Because eagle, you should make it rounded. So let's right away go and see some pictures to get perfect clarity in what's going on. So here you see picture number one. You see a talis either with three corners or with four corners that you rounded off the fourth corner. Either way, you're a potter from Sitzis. And we continue over here in another beautiful picture. These are courtesy of the safer called Pe'er Halacha. Absolutely beautiful. Here you see a five-cornered garment. And when you have a five-cornered garment, where do you put on Sitzis? Not on five. On four corners. Which four? The furthest from each other. And here's another Another picture, this is in the back of the Izvahadr Mishtabura. Here you see a real life picture of a five corner garment and you put it on the four corners. Now this is the Prima Gadim that we just saw. Now what does the Prima Gadim say? That if you have a neck hole, and you don't have a round neck hole like some garments have, we call this a V-neck hole. So if you look over here, we'll zoom in for a moment, oh, excuse me, we'll zoom in for a moment, you see a corner. So why is this not a corner? That is what? 
That is what the Prima Goddam is asking. Why is this area not a corner? So it's explaining the Prima Goddam because it's right if the majority is closed. And over here they do the math on a classical garment. You see you have 30 on top, 30 on bottom, which is 60, and then you only have, even if you include this neckle, which we'll see later on is a big mach like as whether the neckle is included or not. But even if you include it, you see over here that it's a kosher baguette because 60 is more than 56. And similarly on the whiff, 30 is more than 28. But let's say if not, they continue over here in the pictures beautifully. Let's say in this picture it's not the majority. So what should you do? You should cut and you should round off the corner over here, round it off so you don't have that extra corner. And now we go back. Now let's go back to the Mishnah Bura of the Sivkatan Dalid. Barba, Vema Zachamish, and let's see there's five corners. Excuse me, let's see put five strings. So in my thing, I never knew it could have five corners. Let's just put on five strings. No, Iver Mishambal Taisif. You can't do that. Vem Chotach, Achaz Miam, Kshayra, if you cut off one of the five, it's kosher. Ach, Sheisharu Arba, Kanavas, and Merchakis, but since it's Klamei, you have to have the five furthest corners left with Titus. Hamru Chaka is Yaiser, says, why do you have to put them on the five furthermost corners? Says the Mishnah Bura, because that's the most nicker that you have for Vishayim do Medaraisa. So some say this obligation. It's quoting out Eli Raba. That obligation is a deraisa. Yishla hachmer emavshir and you should be machmer. Avol says the Mishnah Bura. If kavar nasa b'kenava karoiv v'efshar l'takein. Let's say you didn't know this halacha and you put on four strings, not on the furthest corners. Kegoin, how? What's the case that you can't fix it? Shegi azman tila and you don't have a talis. Yochles v'chal mekil varich. You could be saimich and the bigger chiddush perhaps is even you can make a bracha on that talis. Says the Mishnah Bura. And in Sif Kat and Vav and Sif Beis, in which he said that what happens if you cut one of the corners of a baguette echad ba alachsan on a corner? Who I didn't say is Mishaburam chadash shneker of the alachsan. You cut two corners. Nasa ba alashish. Now it's a six cornered garment. Palas chamish. V'chena mayu let's chila shalish. Let's say you had a three corner like the triangle we saw. And you cut the bottom corner into two. Again, we'll see a picture in a moment. Now it has four corners. And you have to put on titis. You have to have, it's recognizable that there's four corners. You have to cut a substantial area that it looks like two horns. You just made a little slit. So you split the two in half. But it's not called a four corner garment. Actually, right, pesuach. That's the majority open. Chamevis is Zion, is which I'll see tomorrow. And let's see what he's referring to over here. Here you see, first of all, that if you by accident put on the five tzitzis, here being. The fifth one, what do you do? You cut off that fifth corner and everything is good. Here is your three-corner garment in which the Mishnah Bura said, what do you do? You go and you cut off that bottom corner. Now you make it, and uh, over here in the picture they hone in on, which is the Bir Alacha, which we're not going to see, that how, what is the size? It has to be three espalies, three fingers width, and then you have a four-corner garment. And then at the bottom of this picture you see the Prima Godim, in which the Prima Godim taught us that just to make a slit, that's not good. Just to make a little slit down, that's not nicker, that's not going to be called a four-cornered garment. If you're not going to actually make it proper, it has to be majority opened, in which we're going to see more about that tomorrow. And now we're going to continue in the Machaber Sif Gimel. If you fold up a corner, and this is a very common mistake. For example, sometimes people have these massive scarves in which they don't really wear only around their neck. They, uh, I think they're called the Pajma paj, somethings, which they wear around their shoulders and their head. It's a big shail of a So often what you do is just round the corner now. It doesn't have four corners. So sometimes it's difficult to cut the material. So you think, no big deal, just so 
sew it up. Says the Machaber Kafal Karnas Alizuk Sharmat Farm. If you folded it up and you tied it or you sewed it, it looks kiilu kids son vein like knafas. Now it looks like it doesn't have a corner. Afal B Kane Loy Niftura doesn't work before you even see the Mishtabura. Let's get a picture of what's going on over here as you see this beautiful picture. What's he doing? Either he's so he's taking the corner and he's sewing it up, or he's just folding it up and sewing it up. And then it doesn't work. Even if you do it, it looks rounded. You still have to put the tzitzis on it. As you'll see in the next picture, even more. This is Ayzva Adar's beautiful picture. You see that if you just fold it up and you sewed up that corner, that does not work. This is still called a corner in which it's obligated in tzitzis. So if someone were to do this on a scarf or something in order to exempt them, it doesn't work. You got to put on the tzitzis. Says the Mishtabura. Sivkatan Khas Loy Niftara De Loy Mi Bayla can avai him live sickless a day because if you didn't need the corner, cut it off. What are you doing folding it up? Hello. Vati the Sayyid Latir Satvira says the Mishtabura, you know Pshat is. You know it's not called the got rid of the corner? Because we know the truth. You're just gonna undo it one day. So it's still called the corner. Helkh Nashab Kilu Kvari Hitar. We view it lahalocha as if it's opened up at fear as a chevis with tits, you have to put on tits. Oh mean times and because of this, Yochla Hatalata Tis Bekevel. That's where the pictures were showing, even now that it's folded up, you still can put the tits on there. Aflamata Mikesh Argadol. <clears throat> even if it's underneath the required area in which you generally put tzitzis, as we'll see the shirim and later sifim, as the picture will teach us, so even though now that it's folded up, the tzitzis seem to be too low, that's fine. Why? For the same reason. Because we view it as if it's open. So if it was open in a nice corner, it would be in the right place. That's if you folded it and you sewed it in a rounded area. Let's say you did it in a corner. Now, after it's folded up, there still is the corner. You can put titties on there. Even though it's really too far from the corner, as we'll see in a picture in a moment, because really the corner is all the way down and you folded it up, you still had to put the titties there. Because you sewed it up. So really, we're taking the sewing both ways, if you think about it. It helps. It does not help. We'll see tomorrow. You sewed up the whole thing. Let's quickly see the picture so we understand what's going on. First of all, over here, you see that the tzitzis are higher than the required area, the Kesher Agaydel. But because we view as if the folded area is unfolded, therefore it's going to be kosher. Over here, they actually show you beautifully. Kesher HaGadol, that's the size where the tzitzis are supposed to be. But if you folded it up, it's really going to be within that area. It's still going to be kosher. Here's another example of it all tied up. And now this was the next case in which the Mr. Bura said that if you folded up the talis or the tzitzis and then you sewed it, because now when you view it, you see the corner, therefore you'll have to put the tzitzis over here, even though that area is in essence higher than the required area to put your tzitzis, but it works. Why? Because it's sewn. And that's what I said. If you think about it, we're thinking this din of sewing both ways. A moment ago, in this case, we said we view the sewing as if it's unsewn. And now we're saying we're viewing the sewing as if it's sewn, and therefore it's going to be kosher. And that's why, says Mr. Brother, those who argue that it does not work. Now we're going to continue in Siftalat and Hey, says the Machaber. Talis shall beget, uknafel shall or, if you have a talis of a garment and the corners of leather, chayev is obligated. He shall or, if the garment is of leather, uknafel shall beget, ptura, then it's potter to exempt as we've seen that leather is not obligated in tzitzis because it's not a woven, it's not a baguette, it's just a slab of leather. Let's see, survey together, you have three corners, you have three corners, you put on three tzitzis, and then you create the four corner tzitzis, and now you put on the fourth corner tzitzis, you think, great, I have three, now I have four, now I have four tzitzis, everything's good. No, it says the mechaver doesn't work. Psula misham tasev Eloi min ha asoi. This does not work because of the, of the rule that something has to be created in obligation of chiyov, and you cannot create the obligation after the item is already there. Says the mechaber. Says the mishnah bura. Excuse me. Siftat and yitess shall begid the chseva share the chasa boy. You have to be able to cover yourself with the begid. Veinadim is kasa a little bit ikara begid. You cover yourself with the garment itself, not with the corners. 
And if the garment is material, let's say a woolen garment, and the corners are leather, you're still going to be obligated. Listen to this one. You have a circle garment, and there are no corners. Rock. And then what do you do? You put on corners of leather. So you would think the entire corner, the Araba Kanafais, the four corner garment, is being created with leather. So maybe it does not work, says Mr. Brura Chayev. The boss are Iker Abegid Azin. We go with the Iker Abegid, even though there's no corner, is a massive Chedesh, and therefore it's going to be obligated. Kunafesh Alar says, Mishburus of Katan Yod, Vuadim Ayoroiva Talis Begid, Vasharar, Hayaves. Again, if the majority is of material, a little bit of leather, that is okay. Kunafesh Al Begid, Vuadim Imrak Oroiva Talis Shalar, the majority is leather. Afalgav Shagam Bimiata Begid Ish Mishir Talis. Let's say the minority of this Begid is the size to be a Kosher. Talis. And that minority of the Begid is made out of material of the Begid. So you would think maybe that's enough. No, Potter means it. It's why. Says the Mishnah the same year side. The Kivan Sheikr HaMalbush Enoi Shal Begid. The Iker, everything goes by Malbush that you wear the item. And the Iker part that you wear this Begid because the larger Begid is not of material. Look, Karin and Be'al can't say big dayam. And therefore you are Potter. Var Potter, I feel Midr Abonan. He speaks out leather is Potter. Even Midr Abonan is no shell at all. Let's see of a, a regular talus and you sew leather underneath it. That's chayavis. Then that's tura. Why? The bottom is tafel. It's null to the main baggage, which of course could be a chiddush, because maybe the leather is perhaps even more expensive. If I take one of my regular talis and made out of, be- of material made out of wool, and I sew a full sheet of leather underneath, it's still obligated because the ikr begged was of material. Says Mishmur, Sifkatim Yebeish, Shalosh Kanafos, Afilu Metzchilo, Elo Arba Kanafos, Him Tzitzis. Let's say originally there were four with Tzitzis. V'achir kach, Nechlikach, Echavadas Agel. Then you cut off the fourth corner. Avsho, Yisai Begit, Tikin Achach, then you fix it. Mikol Makom, Elo Agimel Tzitzis, Memila Nisbatlu. When you only have three corners, it's nothing. Can we look at Mishmur, that's what I'm saying, Gimel? Sar Lahat, Tzitzis, 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 T